Welcome back guys to Black Acre Ranch. So we're back here checking out the system, um, the water, rainwater harvesting system. If you remember from last week and the week before, we've been getting these, these down pipes. We got the gutters up and these down pipes are uh, a wet system and the rainwater is going to collect, act as the first flush, and then it's supposed to go up inside that tank over there. Um, so we've had some rain enough to spit and get you a little bit of wet but nothing really to do anything so we've checked out some of these and uh, they actually have water so it's holding some water i don't know how tall or high up it is but it's got some water now some of the things that we we're concerned about and i don't operate with four inch pvc very much in my life so um at each bottom down here it's still wet and you'll see that at different sections along the different way and we can show you some of those like this section here is still wet but the stuff around it isn't wet and then if we go down one more that's wet the next one's wet and then we get down to these last two downspouts and those are wet I want to ask, is this normal? I, I've got some theories. I don't, I don't know that it, it might have just gotten a lot of fog and some other like just misty junk and kind of wetting some things up. But the fact that they're localized tells me I think the joints are either leaking a little bit. I don't know if that's normal. And there might be some condensation just from the sun's coming out and the pipes were cold and now it's warming up. It's always at the joints. So you guys let me know, is this something that's normal? Is this something that we can do? It is holding water. Um, but the joints just kind of seem to weep a little bit. We've taken our trusty manky towel and wiped around a little bit just to see if that'll clear up, but I don't know. Is this something that we should not worry about? Fill it in and no big deal? Or is that something that just tells us, look, this isn't gonna work? Um, the end caps, these end caps, we put that sealant on it um, instead of thread tape or that plumber's tape. Um, I could probably still tighten this even more but it's beyond flush. I mean, it's past flush. I could still go further if I had to, but um, should I be tightening that all the way in, no matter what, and just crank down? Or do you not? I, I don't know. If you have any suggestions, let me know. We're also wet still on the top of the pipe here. That could just be because it's a ledge. Maybe it's coming from the top. I don't know, but they've got some water in it. Now we check the top of the uh, tank here and it still has its concaveness where my slender self Manu Manu the slender stuff set up there and it kind of popped it in so we're going to figure out how to get that out then we can line up the tube and, and get everything set up but I don't think there's any real water in here it's real hollow that's where we're at with this let us know do we close it up everything's good to go it's just that's the nature of the beast or do we have to rethink this. One of my biggest concerns is getting enough water in the tanks before we get the animals here. And the animals are sitting and waiting for the last three months, as you know. Um, at first it was a fence, and then it was a fence, now it's getting the gates. So, updates, we should have the gates here in a couple weeks, which means uh, the person we're buying the buffalo from needs about a couple weeks to coordinate transportation, you know, three miles from his place to here. Um, so right now there's not a lot of rain there still hasn't been rain we've had two hurricanes go by there's been hardly any rain we have a lake that doesn't work very well but it does puddle some water so in an effort to try and get some stockpiling in the tank we thought we're going to suck it right out of there and try and blow it into our big tank so we went over to harbor freight harbor freight is like the only company who actually has crap in stock besides screws Home Depot sucks. Um, anyway, so we got ourselves, I think they call these things like a, gosh, a trash pump. Anyway, it's a water pump. This is a two inch um, inlet and outlet. So here's our inlet or our outlet hose. This one doesn't have to worry about all the suction. Um, we're gonna connect that. It just blows it out. And then this, is the reinforced inlet hose. 
So these are reinforced because all the suction of pressure and everything is going to collapse the hose if you don't have something that's reinforced. So that is the inlet. So we got both of those and we're going to try and suck water from our lake and put it into the tank and at least get ourselves a reserve because I don't know when it's going to rain enough. Um, frankly, I don't even know if these tubes are going to work for rain collection. But uh, anyway, that's one of the things we're going to do. Also, we've still got to do some just miscellaneous housekeeping. Um, pick up junk in the pasture. We want to make sure all the fences are buttoned down and, and so forth, and a couple of them aren't since our fence crew didn't do it. So we're going to be doing that. And as always, I always have on the menu mowing, but mowing never happens. So if I get on the tractor, it'll be a, a, a miracle. But anyway, stick around, see how, how this all goes. All right, we've got the pump all hooked up. We're gonna see if we can get it started before we move over to the lake to start sucking it up. Gosh, it smells good. So gross. Get a whiff of that, Chica. That's like some rich mower. Rich right there. something. Woo -wee. Rich mower, man. I'd chase that sucker down the road if that was a car. That's too much mower. Woo! Woo! That smells good. I want to start it again. All right, so why wasn't it starting? Oh, Mimi. <laughs> so the uh, choke, this all the way over to the left is start, all the way over to the right is run. So when I first started it, and it smelled really good, it was in choke. Then it says to move it over a third and then slowly move it over to the run. Right. Well, it had ran for five seconds or so, sputtered out. And I guess I should have, after it started, moved it over. So Charlotte said, why don't we move it over and try it again? And that's what worked. Yay. So. Good ideas. That worked. It is, especially because I got to smell it again. So gross. Okay. So we need to drag this puppy down to the lake and our little blue barrels are gonna fill up and then we're gonna sh suck them up into the black barrel. We're gonna suck and blow some water. Hopefully it works, that's the plan. Yeah, so, hopefully we get to collect it. Here's our red and green Christmas hoses. Yay, Merry Christmas. And uh, let's see how this goes. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're back to our big water tank that is collapsed on top. So you get this view because I'm not up there. But we're going to see about angling and leverage and pry barring and popping up the top. So we've got Nathan and Jeff up at the top of the ladders. We've got this nice big PVC sturdy pipe to sure be our support. Oh, the girls are girl. helping hold ladders and the boys are working the top. We're at a new angle, and we've got a T post as our lever. And I'm gonna work at the little hole spot that Jeff drilled last week. angles the charm? I don't know, but I'm going to try one more angle at this thing. Alright guys, this is what we're at here. All this was collapsed in. Nathan used this T-post here in that hole that's right there, it's just underneath the, the opening. And all of this was 
kind of like that. So by pulling, he's been able to kind of level it. Now it's not perfect, it's still dipped away, but we have this, I already cut the five inch hole and we have this guy right here that goes in. If it's a little angled, that's fine because we can twist the elbow this way a little bit is my goal. So we're gonna get a uh, four inch PVC to slide through there. We've got some dish soap with us today. And let's see if we can get this to all slide together. Lube. All right, now try and coat that guy on the outside. Okay, now that will be snug. So don't don't kill yourself. That's hence why we have the soap. Yeah. Well, I tried it without soap, and it didn't work. Yeah, it's not working so hot with soap. I don't think you're gonna get the base in now. I just don't want to have a bubble bath in the tank. You know? Just that, I mean, that fits automatically, but yeah. Oh. All right. You just can't push the pipe because the pipe will go right through. I know. Teasing me. Teasing me. Piece of crap. I'm not getting it to go in. We can switch and see if you can do it. I don't video that we get this thing on. Alright, right now can I just kind of hang out sitting here connected up? Even though it's not really doing anything. Maybe the top just points down at it and be done for today. We took out the little rubber. Gasket. You never use protection guys. Alright, All right, so you took out the little gasket rubber thing and since we can't get this thing in there with it, we decided to glue this onto here so it doesn't fall in. We're just gonna let it rest. rest. Now there's gaps here, but this is an open system. So all of these little downspouts are just open. There's no screen for mosquitoes or anything like that on them. But I think we've got some good pitch. Yeah, it looks like. And it's good enough, I think. At least we have water that can come in here. Yes. That's just, at least there's water. One step forward. Yes. All right. All right, let's get down. But. Chunky wee beastie popped out. Finally. So rule of thumb. Don't sit on the tank. If you're a little chubby and attractive, you don't get on the tank. <laughs> like me. Yeah. All right, we made it down to the lake. We are getting everything set up with the pump to suck out some water and fill up these blue barrels to go over and fill up our big water tank. We're putting on the screen to help filter out the junk from the lake. We're also going to need to prime up the pump and get that set and ready to go up this red tube into the blue barrels.
lot of water in here. <laughs> there really is. That's actually really impressive how much water's in here. Okay, so our goal now is to take these blue barrels back over to our tank and suck it out. That's gonna be tricky because our fittings have to screw on and tip it over. Anyways, it's gonna be kind of a mess. So we're thinking in the future, maybe next week, of getting the really big IBC totes that are like, what, 250 gallons or something? So we can just fill up a huge tote at once and then transport the water that way. So that's definitely something we're gonna look into. Um, we seem to have plenty of water. This is the smaller, I think, of our lake areas. So I think we'll definitely be able to suck the water and won't have to rely on the rain for right now, which is good. So we're getting there and this definitely worked. So yay. Hey, so if you're gonna go load up all these barrels full of water and you leave it at the tongue, whew, that's a lot of weight. So we sure weighed this puppy down and dug into all the ground and crap on our way back over here. So, you know, maybe a little better placement next time would be wise. So we're getting ready. We're getting the ladder set. We're gonna get these guys tipped over or once they're sucking. To get them up there. Okay, so while we've been trying to get everything set up to pump up into the tanks and screw the green hose into the blue barrels, Jeff was like, well, maybe I can just take the fitting off and screw it in the little opening. So while he was doing that, I'm like, well, why do we need the screw? You just shove it all the way down. So we undid all of it, found a hole it fit through. So we don't have to tip anything over. It should go pretty smoothly compared to what we thought. We don't have to, because seriously, tipping those blue barrels was gonna be a nightmare. Yay! So this should be a better experience. We get IBC totes. Once this sucker gets going, it'll suck some gallons, man. Yeah, well. Or we go buy ourselves just a big thousand gallon water tank. And suck that in. And we just put that over here, we just suck it in. All right, so before we left, I wanted to uh, express a few thoughts about what we just did. So I think in theory, what we're trying to do with sucking water out of the lake, putting it in some containers and shifting it over and, and doing that is a perfectly fine theory. I think the equipment was fine, the pump, um, I think we just didn't put it into practice very well. Um, all we had were the 50 gallon drums, so we're gonna learn from that. We've done our one trip. Um, Owen, when he was putting all the water in, um, he eventually, we measured it, and it looks like we had a little bit of water actually somehow from the rains a quarter or a tenth of an inch, but um, that fell. But anyway, we had some water in the bottom. I think we probably added 50 times six is 300 maybe 275 right not quite 300 250 but it, it looks to be i think you know maybe 400 gallons in that thing yeah. so i'm surprised about how much we picked up um i almost hope it doesn't rain too much because we don't have the uh overflow <laughs> put up on it anyway whatever so we're gonna buy some bigger ibc totes 
and I think we're going to just keep doing this in theory, in practice, um, and I think we'll do better. Um, it just sucked a lot, and then it just took forever to get going. I'm not, I've never used one of these before. In fact, most of this crap I've never used before. So um, we're about to make some stupidity errors and stuff like that. But anyway. All right, go ahead and watch us. Learn what not to do. Right. Then learn what to do as we figure it out. It's fun. Yeah. So, but hey, I'm glad we got at least the pipe up on the top of the tank. The tank popped itself back out. Nathan heaved and hoed and he got most of it and then it finished the rest of the way. So I'm glad about that. We've got some water in it. It looks like the fitting is actually holding. Um, so at the bottom, it's not dripping out that I could see. Yeah. So let the rains come. Is there anything else? Go ahead and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next week on Black Acre Ranch. Yep, yep.